All right, guys. This video might be scaring me a little bit more than even the five minute makeup challenge. Today, we are going to be doing makeup with nothing but these 10 tools. That's right. Just makeup with our fingers. Uh, if you guys have been watching my channel, you will know that I really do not like using my fingers. I don't like using them for blending and foundation, for doing pretty much anything. It's, it's, it's more of a sensory thing than anything, but I'm also just not very talented at it. Like, Ugh, just to like think about putting eyeshadow on my eyelids with my fingers is already like making my heart go But we're gonna do it today. Um, I will get into sort of the background on how I got roped into this uh, This is not by any means necessarily a new challenge. I think that I know Nikki tutorials did a like makeup with no brushes several years ago But this kind of came up in a few conversations with some friends and I will definitely get into that But if we haven't met before my name is Kelly and I am a professional hair and makeup artist Not that you will probably be able to judge that from today's creation and here on YouTube I strive to keep beauty real real honest real relatable and real fun, which is what we're gonna be working with today, I think. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you join me here on my channel. Hit that notification bell, make sure that it's hit to all so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. So now, a little bit of backstory on this. Uh, if you guys know my friend over at A Merch Beauty, Aileen, so we chat a lot and she is constantly giving me crap about not liking to use my fingers. like. You know, there's always, if she's ever using her fingers, I know there's like a little wink wink, like, oh Kelly, I know you're probably watching this and cringing right now. Um, and you know, it's just something that we kind of joke about. So she had kind of talked to me about this and was like, we should do this video. And I had actually been considering reaching out to another YouTuber that I love, Jennifer, over at My Decadent Life. I know I've talked about her here on my channel, but she's kind of my soul sister in the fact that we just both do not like using our fingers. So I had thought like, if I'm gonna do this challenge, I wanna do it with someone who can like feel me, who's probably gonna be as cringed out as I am. So of course I had to rope her into this. So thank you, Jennifer, for being willing to do this with me. Um, I'm sure Aileen is so looking forward to watching us do this because Aileen loves using her fingers. Well, she's completely comfortable doing it. So I think she's super excited to see us like crawling in her skin. So we had just, you know, sort of asked Aileen what our rules are. And I think it was kind of like, you can use pencils for, you know, like eyeliner or lip liner or whatever, but nothing else. So like a mascara, obviously we're gonna have to, I mean, I guess we could try to use mascara with our fingers, but I'm gonna use a mascara one, but everything else is gonna be done with my fingers. So I'm honestly not sure how I'm gonna do with this. Uh, I mean, I have high hopes and I am really gonna like push my limits. And Aileen said it couldn't be a one shadow look, uh, which I wasn't gonna do anyway. So I'm gonna push my limits, try to test my creativity and my skill. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, let's get right into it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I do have my face primed and moisturized already. I just went through with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothie moisturizing primer or priming moisturizer, whichever it is. Um, I'm honestly not looking for longevity out of this. I'm probably gonna be washing this directly off my face, I have a feeling, but who knows? Maybe it'll maybe it'll be a new look. So I'm gonna go through with the MAC Studio Waterweight SPF 30 foundation. Um, in all honesty, I think that A, this is gonna be really good to use with my hands, but B, um, I feel like it's at the end of its life, and so I need to like use this up. So we will just go through. I'm gonna just pipette it right on. Oh, this is probably a little light for me. All right, sorry for the abrupt like switch up here. I wanted to be able to put my mirror like a little closer to me since, since I have to use my hands. That's the other thing. Like I can't like hold a mirror in one hand because uh, I need both hands for this. So I feel like this foundation is probably a little bit light for me right now, but that's all right. Oh, I should have done, shoot, I should have done my eyes first. Okay, after I get this on, I think I'm gonna go through and do my eyes first, um, just so that I can like kind of clean up any situation that occurs. This foundation has a pretty like light coverage, but I can always like build another layer over the top, I think, when I'm done. And of course we have concealer to help us out as well. So I am gonna grab a little eye primer. I don't know, am I allowed to like use an applicator to like put this on? I would think so. I'm gonna do it. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden. I will blend it out with my fingers, but I'm gonna apply it with this little doe foot. 
don't like it. I already don't like it. Like, how do you get accuracy here? I think I'm like eye priming my whole face here at this point. I don't know if having longer nails is going to assist me or not. Like if it's going to help me out. I think it might help in some circumstances and not in others. Okay, I feel like this already looks horrible. Like, I feel like I'm already fired. All right, so then I do want to like set this a little bit. I'm so scared. So I thought what I would do, what might work like a little easier is to use like a really finely milled powder. So I've got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is Dim Light. So I'm gonna use this to kind of like set everything. <laughs> Just cause I thought that this would be, since it is finely milled, maybe it won't get as like chunky and crust delicious as like trying to use a loose powder would. Okay, I give up, I'm done. I'm waving the red flag. White flag? I'm waving some sort of flag. Uh, okay, so for my shadows, I thought what I would do is pull out my good old Makeup Geek singles. This is not all of them. Those ones, and then I doubt I'm gonna do something super colorful, but I do have some of these too. Um, these are all Makeup Geek, so. Thought that I would pull these out. I really love, this is the original formula. Um, I really do love these shadows, so hopefully they will not steer me wrong. I do not know how I am going to do this though. Like, how am I supposed to do a crease color with just, with just my fingers? How does this work? So I'm just gonna try to like tap this. Uh, I'm using Bake Sale. Yeah, see this is, this is where I start to run into issues. I'm gonna have to go in like with my left hand. Okay, that's not too horrible. Uh oh, spoke too soon, I spoke too soon. Oh no, I went up too high. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. We will figure it out. A crease, a crease shade can go up to your brow bone, right? No big deal. That's not like the worst I've ever seen. It's definitely not the best I've ever seen, but it's not the worst either. So now I'm gonna go through with Mirage. So I'm trying to like highlight the brow bone a little bit, but also like blend where I got a little too extra there. Now that I've got a little bit of dimension on the lid and like into the crease, I'm gonna go through with a cream shadow. I'm gonna use the House Laboratories. This is Aphrodite. So again, I'm just gonna use the, the applicator to pop a little of this on my lid and then blend it out with my fingers. I actually, I really liked these, um, Cream shadows, I mean, I've only gotten this one when they first launched, but I did like it. I don't I don't really hear anything about them anymore. Actually, I don't even really think that I heard much about them when they first launched. This shade isn't super, super opaque, but it does have some nice flex, which I seem to have gotten oh, up into my crease, awesome. Not the best, not the best. This video is probably gonna be me mostly like, just giving exasperated sounds the whole time. All right, I'm gonna take the shade Starry Eyed. This is so pretty. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Maybe like with the back of my nail. And put that in the inner corner. I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure what's going on here. <laughs> I just dug my nail into it. Oh. <sighs> Kelly, your inner corner is not supposed to go down the bridge of your nose. Oh no. Oh, oh, I still have to put concealer on. Why am I even bothering with that? Okay, that's all good. We've, we've still got concealer. I mean, seriously, this is gonna take me like nine times longer than it would with a brush. Okay, there we go. It's not too bad. I'm obviously gonna have to clean some of that up, but we're gonna put on concealer anyway. But isn't that a pretty shade? Like anybody who has tried 
Obviously this is a foiled shadow and I don't think Marlena has done the foiled shadow in the new like rebrand. But anyone that has tried the new Makeup Geek formula, please let me know if it's as good as the original or if somehow it's better. Like I, I love, I mean obviously I love Makeup Geek. Like look, I've actually hit pan on several of these shades. And for me to hit pan is saying a lot. So, okay, now I'm gonna go through with the shade Wild West. And this is just going into the outer corner. Oh, shit. Thank goodness I'm still gonna be doing concealer because that didn't go well. It's, it's definitely not great, but we're gonna start with that. So I really want to do some glitter because I thought for this, I'm just gonna go all out. So I am going to use some glitter glue and a loose glitter to like give us some razzle dazzle, why not? So back when ColourPop first launched their press glitters, I got two and I don't think I've used either one of them. This is the shade Indio. I don't know if you guys will even be able to see that, but it's really pretty. Um, so we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Too Faced uh, glitter glue. I'm gonna go one lid at a time. Okay, so I don't know how much just got cut out. Um, I forgot to format my memory card before I got started and so it shut off at me. So I went to go clear some files off of it, forgetting that I had glitter all over my hands so now my camera is covered in glitter, so that's awesome. Um, but I, I don't think that I did too bad. I did go through, I was trying to show you guys on camera. Um, I did start to just like clean up some of my situation just using my fingers. So I've, I've mastered this new technique called the knuckle rub. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the latest rage, I have a feeling. So that one seems to be working pretty well to get some of this out. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with the fallout underneath my eyes yet. We'll deal with that when we get there. I'm gonna go back through it with some of that bake sale shade. I don't wanna like rub the glitter off as glitter starts falling everywhere. That one fleck of glitter on the inside I just can't get off. This looks, this looks like a kindergarten craft project. Okay. So yeah, that's about, that's probably about as good as that's gonna get. We're, we're just gonna leave that right there. We will finish up under the eye in just a minute. Uh, I'm gonna go through and do a little eyeliner, I think. So I'm gonna go through with the Inglot 77. This is a really nice cream gel eyeliner. So I'm hoping if I just like put it on the corner of my nail, A little closer to the mirror here. And I'm not I'm not like attempting a wing or anything. Let's be real here, people. And I'm just gonna do like the outer corner. I didn't do too bad on that side. I don't oh that just even feels weird on this side. Oh lord. Probably not the best idea to use with the loose glitter just because it's like they got kind of stuck in the liner. I did decide to do just a little bit of a teeny baby wing. All right, so I was trying for that little baby wing and then this side became a mama. So then I decided to make this side a mama. And now I would just I just wanna clean them up a little bit, but I'm gonna try to do that with some micellar water and clean pinky nails. 
um, I need to clean up this fallout underneath my face too. So I might just wipe some of this off and then re-put on my foundation with my hands again. I don't think that's cheating. We would do that with brushes if we realized that we were being dumb, right? Okay, okay, I'm gonna wipe off the glitter, but I'm not going to mess with the eyeliner because that's like, that is cheating. So I just want you guys to know I'm just getting fallout here. And this isn't a brush, so don't come for me. Okay, uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna try to clean up that liner with a little bit of Bioderma on my fingernail. <sighs> okay, so now I need to make sure that I have all of this glitter off of my fingers to be able to go back in with foundation. That was so dumb to put on that foundation before. Like who in their right mind goes through and does their foundation before their eye makeup when they know that they're gonna be using glitter? So dumb. Ugh, glitter everywhere. It's like, you guys. It's like, I just, it won't go away. So now we're gonna use concealer. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way. What's the best way to do this? Oh, I hate this. Ugh, the feeling. How am I supposed to get that close? Okay, I'm gonna go through with just a little bit of the almond shade and a little bit of golden beige. Just right through my chin where I've got a little bit of breakout going and I need some more coverage. So really quick, I'm gonna try to set my under eye situation. Um, this makes me nervous because when I did it on my eyelid, it got so much darker. But I feel like I need a little powder down here or I'm gonna be creasing like a mofo. Just trying to like barely get any on my finger and then like tap it in. I'm trying to decide do I want to be creasy or cakey? Cause I feel like if I put too much of this on with my finger, like it's really hard to make this hourglass um, ambient powder look cakey with a brush, but uh, with your finger, yeah. Okay, you guys, this is, this is, mm, it's not super cute, but it'll work. Oh my God, I just want to take a powder brush and like, brush it in. Okay, we're not gonna do it. All right, what I am gonna do though is set it with setting spray real quick. I'm just gonna go through, I've got like a couple pumps of the Tarte Stay Spray left. Maybe. Yeah. Ooh. So I'm gonna reuse this um, bottle to put my Ciate Everyday Vacay Spray in because I do like the sprayer on this and I like that Ciate setting spray, but the mister on it is not good. All right, carrying on, I'm gonna do some brows. I've got this Brow Gal uh, Powder Trio. It's just got like three shades in it. I thought it would be good because I could do a little darker towards the end and lighter towards the middle. I mean, if I can use mascara on my lashes, why can't I use tinted brow gel? That's all I'm saying. pinkies are getting a workout in this video. I wish I had paid attention to what time I started filming it so that I would know just how long this is taking me. I am gonna use a little bit of clear brow gel. Like, if you want me to, I'll put it on with my fingers, but it's just clear, like, come on. I'm gonna use that Wild West shade that we used in our outer corner and just try to get a little bit of this underneath the lash line. 
and like kind of blur it up to meet that liner. Oh yeah, this, this concealer situation is not looking cute. I'm just doing like just enough to try to make it look like purposeful underneath the lash line. So what are you supposed to do when you can't take a fluffy brush and like whisk away fallout? <sighs> try to like blow it away. Okay. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Okay, let's just move on to the face. I'm ready to like not concentrate on that anymore. We'll come back and do mascara in a little bit. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Faux Tan Liquid Bronzer. Um, I really like this. I don't know how it's gonna blend with fingers, but we're gonna give it a go. down there. Oh my god. I thought this was gonna be like the easiest part. I don't know why I went in with like all of my fingers. Couldn't I have just gone in with one? Getting cocky, getting cocky. Give ourselves a little contour. And maybe just a dibble dabble on the temples. My skin is getting so dry already. And we're like November, like mid-November. This is not gonna be a great winter. All right, I didn't put myself to shame on that one other than I got a little crazy there, but I think I blended it out. Uh, now we're gonna go through with the M Cosmetics Color Drops. This is the shade Peachy Peach. I really wanna make sure that my hands are really nice and wiped off for this. That would, that's the thing. Like if you honestly did a full face of makeup with just your fingers, you would you would have to be wiping your hands all the time. This is maybe like a bit warm of a blush to be using with this look, but I feel like my face can use some warmth. I seem to have given myself a glitter beauty mark. So that's cute. All right, for a little bit of highlighter, I'm gonna go through with the Nude Sticks Magnetic Nude Glimmers. I'm not sure if I've used this or not. If I did, it was just like once. Just wanted something pretty natural. It looks like shocking at first, but once you really tap it in, um, it looks pretty natural. All right, so I'm gonna go through with mascara. Now Aileen was like, what are you gonna do since you can't use a lash curler? And I was like, I'm just gonna use some really good mascara. So I'm gonna go through with the combination of the Telescopic Carbon Black and the Roller Lash. I'm hoping that this is gonna give me a really nice, like long, wispy look. All right, and because I'm pretty sure that this concealer situation is gonna slide around a little bit, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara on my bottom lashes. This is waterproof, so hopefully it won't smudge around. Um, I, after this, am actually gonna be packing up some stuff and moving it over to um, our new place, so. I need something that's gonna be pretty durable. I, I honestly thought that I would have to be washing this off, but um, I didn't do too bad, so I will probably just leave it on. Cause you know, what girl doesn't move in a full face of makeup with glitter? Okay, I feel pretty confident about these lashes, but I told you guys I was gonna push myself out of my comfort zone. So I'm gonna go through and put on some of these accent lashes. Um, these are actually magnetic ones, but I'm going to use some magnetic liner and then just, these are like the ones that are supposed to sandwich together. These are Ardell's, I believe, yep. Um, 
but I'm just gonna use the upper ones and just pop them on the corners on the outside. So I do actually have this Ardell Magnetic Gel Liner. I found it in my drawer and I thought that this would be a little bit more accurate than trying to put the Glamnetic Liquid Liner on my nail and then trying to pop it on. So this is just a little gel pot, kind of like the Inglot. So I'm just gonna try to get enough of this. It's definitely thicker than like a regular gel liner so I'm gonna that's why I didn't use it um, for my actual line but I'm just gonna try to get enough on here that hopefully these magnetic lashes will stick I have not used this liner before so we'll see but it's it's definitely like really tacky and I thought these accents would be good a just because I think it goes really well with the look since we did end up like flaring out the eyeliner. And then that way I don't have to be super accurate trying to get them to stay in the inner corner because mm, that's hard on a regular day, let alone a day where I've only been able to use my fingers. By the way, this Ardell liner does come with a brush, but when I opened the box, the brush went flying somewhere and it doesn't matter anyway because I can't use it. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna go grab a lip combo to use. Uh, the lasher, the lasher, <laughs> okay. The liner should be dry. Uh, we're gonna just go in, like, we're, we're just doing this thing. So again, these are just like little mini accent lashes. Hopefully this liner works well. I am not going to, <laughs> I'm not going to hold, I think this is the wrong eye. Um, I'm not going to use this as a review for that Ardell liner, obviously, because it's probably user error if they don't really stick. But dang, you guys. Um, that went on. That's there. Sweet. I will definitely have to use this magnetic liner and see how I like it. I will say the one thing about the Glamnetic that I don't like is it's got that very, like, vinyl feel to it. I will definitely be interested to try this with a brush. That is honestly probably my preferred method for getting like the most exact line. So I might have to give that a go. So that's kind of an exciting, unexpected find. All right, now for lips, I'm gonna just go through with one of my favorite combos that I think will go really well with this. Uh, this is the Lumiere pencil and the Lumiere uh, lippy sticks from ColourPop. I just think that this like mauve situation will work really well. So I'll line really quick. All right, I just lined really quick. Uh, I have a feeling that this pencil is like drying out. It doesn't feel dry on my lips, but the product was out. And then when I went like this, it like pushed inside of the outer casing and I'm too lazy to sharpen it to figure out the situation, but this is what we have going on. So Aileen said no using a product from the bullet. So I'm just gonna put it on my finger and then put it on my lips. Ugh. It's so dangerous because you don't want to like break the bullet. So this shade is truly one of my all-time favorites. I love it. I know I've talked about it before. I'm probably a little biased because it's a Kathleen Lights collab, but it is so pretty. It's just like, it's mauve but it has almost a little bit of like a lavender. I don't know, I, everybody I've ever seen it on looks gorgeous. It seems to work with like all skin tones. I'm trying to find something to wipe this lipstick off of my finger because it's getting to me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as I was saying, so I feel like this color looks good on everybody. I've seen it on a ton of different skin tones. I think it looks beautiful. I don't even know if it's still available. Um, I just wanted to zoom you guys in so you could see. So this is our final situation with just fingers. I'm pleasantly surprised actually. So like I said, I think the fact that I keep my nails fairly long uh, has helped this situation because I was able to get a little accuracy. I will say, I feel like the skin, and it probably is just because I'm so used to using a damp sponge for my concealer. And right now my skin is just really dry, but I do feel like uh, the skin is lacking a little bit. Like I, it just doesn't look as smooth and nice as it normally does. Mm, the glitter all up in my business here. 
I don't love that. I tried to get it off. Like, I'm actually not mad at this one, like, little fleck that's here that I can't... Oh, I got it. It was my little beauty mark. Uh, my little glitter beauty mark. But other than that, it's not too bad. Uh, I didn't do too bad on the liner, you guys. My eye shape doesn't... It's pretty tricky with my eyes anymore as I get older just because they're getting like more and more hooded to get a great line. But I'm not too mad at that wing. So this was kind of fun. Um, like I said, I definitely wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone. That glitter is super pretty. Like um, if I ever have a situation where I need a little glitter, I will definitely pull that out. And that's one thing that I've been trying to do as I've been kind of going through my collection and getting ready for this move is trying to see the things that it's like, okay, you you need to pull this out more. Like you have pigments and glitters and liquid shadows and all these things that I just haven't been using. So it's been fun to kind of do things like this and these challenges that I'm pulling some of this out. In all honesty, I, I really wanted to use products today that weren't like the new new, um, just for me to be able to enjoy them. So I really had a lot of fun with that. I hope you guys did too. Not that necessarily it gives you much on the quality of the product because if I just applied it like a jackass <laughs> it's probably not going to tell you how good the product is but um it's fun for me to be able to go through my collection so as I do these challenges I think that's what I'll do is you know if it's a fun little something like this it'll be stuff that's like sort of like shop my stash right so I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and my 10 little tools here I guess it does prove that you can do pretty well if you you know put yourself to the test I will say this took a really long time. Like I'm gonna have to look and see, but I'm sure that this was at least an hour's worth. Like just that glitter situation took a while to like clean up. Um, although that would probably happen with brushes anyway, but I had a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever tried to do this? Are you someone who you use your fingers and you're like, Kelly, that's no big deal. Like I do all of this stuff all the time. Uh, it was different for me. Now, if you did enjoy this, if you had a laugh, if you were excited that I was trying to challenge myself, don't forget to give this video a like. It really does help me out here on my channel. Let me know down in the comments below, is there a challenge that you would like to see me do in the future? Uh, you guys, I feel like I kind of glossed over the content creators that I'm collabing with, my beautiful friends, Jennifer and Aileen just because I was so nervous and I just started like rambling and then I was like, okay, we might as well get this started. I can't put it off anymore. So please make sure to check out both Aileen and Jennifer's channels to see what their challenge results ended up like. Aileen is a merch beauty. Make sure that you let her know that you're interested to see the colorful makeup only challenge. Cause I told her if we did this video that she had to do a colorful makeup challenge with me. Cause she is a neutral girl through and through and I was like, all right, if I'm gonna use my fingers, you are gonna wear nothing but color on your face. So we're gonna be doing that one soon. And Jennifer over at My Decadent Life is so wonderful. She has a lot of really great clean beauty finds as well, which I am loving. Honestly, like I have tried so many things that she has recommended and have loved them all. So I really encourage you to check out her channel as well. Both of these ladies are wonderful. So I will make sure to link both their channels and their Instagram accounts as well so you can follow them there. Super wonderful ladies, lots of fun. And I want to thank them both for doing this challenge with me. I will also link Nikki Tutorials video down below because honestly, I remember watching that like four or five years ago or whatever it was. And I was just like, that girl did better with her fingers than most people can do with all of the brushes in the world. It was incredible, but I had a lot of fun doing this. Again, if you did enjoy this, give this video a like. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. I will see you guys really soon.